hello guys welcome to my channel and watch my tutorials this is a session to show you how to finalize a map with all cosmetic element in layout to view and export it as pdf or as a picture we are going to base on the output map that has been made in the previous session let's go in the previous session we have made a Vujesera simple administrative map this is the simple administrative map that have been made it is contained of sectors roads uh, of course principal roads like paved roads lakes rivers surrounding Vujesera district here we are going to finalize this map in a layer to view and uh, give it all cosmetic element to make the map good and then Finally, we will export it as PDF in the as a picture so that we can use in a other project. Here we are in data view and we want to go in layout view. To do so, we will go to view. Then instead of choosing data view, already we are in data view. Let us choose layout view. Uh, you see that the layout has been added on our map. Let me pan it here. As you see. I need to change this uh, photo paper and uh, make it landscape so that Vigesera can fit in as well. To do so, I will go to file and uh, scroll down to page and the print setup. And uh, instead of choosing portrait, I will choose landscape later, of course. And then you see that this is the layout and uh, this is the paper landscape here i can edit or modify something like width height but let us leave it as default because we are in landscape of course then let me click ok you see that uh, our paper uh, have been changed from a portrait to landscape let me make layer fit this paper uh, it is resizing it like this like this yeah I think this is my perfect so this place here on top I will put it a title of the map this place here in the right side I will put it legend scale bar enough allow and the other description of the map but in this place it is the layer where the map uh, will fit so to make the map fit this layer I will go back to table of content and uh, remember that this is Vujesera district and I will go to Vujesera data layer like click on it uh, click on zoom to layer in order to make the map fit the window let us first begin with putting the title here on the top do so let me do like a click on this empty space and scroll down to this draw tool and you see that the draw tool have been called I will pan it in the top and I am now ready to add a text so with this A I can click on it then click in map where I want to add text it is Bujesera district administrative map Bujesera district administrative map you see that it is very small and uh, it's better to make it bigger and bigger to do so let me first of all change the uh, style for me trebuchet and uh, let me resize it from 10 to 20 it's, it's much better for me and uh, another thing is to add grid to do so just click on this space in the layer then you see that the layer have been selected and then do like a click scroll down to property as you see in this data frame property you see we are in the coordinate system let us change to grid and uh, we will call new grid and uh, we will leave this as default let us click on next and uh, it's better to choose this label only to make the grid labels but not lines or ticks to make the map very clear let us choose this first option for, uh, for labeling grid only and uh, you see that uh, interval will be 30 for latitude and 30 for longitude so i will modify it according to how uh, it, it looks like so let me click on next 
next then i can click on finish then apply you see that uh, after making apply 30 second as interval is very very small interval so i will go back to a uh, grid in data frame property to the uh, properties and uh, in the interval i will erase the interval let us put 10 degree 10 degree let us click on apply and here i put it zero and uh, zero yeah it's fine apply then okay then apply uh, actually you see that 10 is a long distance only one grid is appearing on my map scale so it's better to minimize this in the property i will go back to interval and then uh, let us change 10 to 1 but here in 30 it's okay 10 to 1 but here 30 it's okay let me go back to apply and okay apply so it is still a long distance go back to property delete one into zero and then let us remain here as 30 distance it's okay then apply uh, still a long distance again go back to um, property uh, 30 should be 15 maybe 15 maybe uh, should be applied so you see yeah let us choose 15 it's okay for me 15 or 10 yeah i will put it 10 here 10 10 apply yeah you see on each side at least there are three grids on this side there are two grids so another thing to do is to make grid labor a bigger and bigger and because right now it is very difficult to see this grid so it's better to make it bigger i will go back to property and uh, to labor of course let me resize it from 6 to 11 okay and then make it bold yes and leave it black apply okay then apply so uh, this is fine for me you see that the grid appear and the clear and uh, i'm going to create the grid for left side and the grid for bottom side to do so i'll go back to property and uh, in this labor option i will remove the grid for left side and the grid for bottom side and then click on ok then apply you see that the grid for the left side and the grid for bottom side have been removed so and then the grid for top and the light side are still up here on the map this is perfect but i want this grid for light side be vertical not horizontal like this on top because it is consuming a big area so i will go back to property and then in this labor orientation i will choose a vertical labor for right grid and then click ok apply you see the grid on the right side have been a vertical has take a vertical orientation then click on ok so actually i'm done dealing with grids it's better for resizing the map layer and they already go back in table of content and then click on the zoom to layer to make the map fit this layer so this is much perfect and uh, the next point is to bring the north arrow on the map to do so just i will go to insert and then scroll down to north arrow this then click on it i will choose this and then go to plot uh, you see that it is added on the map but it's better to bring this on top let me put it here this is perfect uh, another thing is to bring the scale bar to do so i will go back to insert and uh, click on the scale bar let me choose this one as the, uh, the first option is better and then click ok you see that the scale bar have been added I will bring it here in this side but on the bottom however it is better to resize it so that it can fit the size that have been added so it's better to change the property from miles to kilometers just do like a click on it go to property and instead of taking mile 
as the unity I will change it to kilometers and then here I can write labor key M then you click on apply so you see that it is changed from miles to kilometers and even it's better to minimize these subdivisions uh, to one and I will leave default number of division as two then click on apply then okay you see that the number of subdivision has been uh, minimized from many to two and then it's better to resize this and then uh, you can go back to properties to make this labor board then you click on apply and okay so our map has taken this uh, scale bar it's better for me so you can resize it according scale here another thing is to add legend on this map to do so just go back to insert and then scroll down to legend of, of course and uh, those are the item that will be appear in the legend of the map but those are the layers that appear in the table of content so it's better to check if all those layers in legend item will be appear on the legend of our map and then you click ok next let me remove title i will add title manually and the color will be like this yes it's okay click on next next then finish so you see the legend has been added on the map it is overlaying this scale i will bring the scale inside the map to give the legend space it's much better to resize the map scale again to give the legend a free space just like this and let me put this icon on the very top and the pan this legend like this yeah this is much perfect for me and i'm going to add the title on this scale as manually so i will click on the text in the drawing tools then click here and then i can add legend manually is better and then i can change the size and the style of this mm, legend text click here to change yeah let me choose the home it's okay and the title should be 14 and the border yes pan it here okay and uh, it's better to put a line between legend and the uh, legend items yeah actually making a layout map in a layout view will take you somehow several minutes because this is the option of glorifying your map you have to be patient to carry this task because if you are lashing you can make a bad output so it's better to take your time in order to glorify clearly your map so you see that the legend is here but it's better to rename it as better like if this is Jesera hospital let us call it hospital hospital uh, if this is Jesera health centers let us call it health centers because no other health centers on the map health centers and even they can remove those underscore yeah akanyaru river but remember that uh, here we have akanyaru and akajira river this is akanyaru this is akajira river so all those uh, rivers should take uh, the same layer same color and let us call it river and it will represent all rivers uh, let us call it river much better we just set up the road uh, there is no need to call it we just set up the road but of the road it's okay of the road and uh, we a district boundary let us call it we boundary it should be okay we boundary and the uh, lake not we just lake but lakes okay lake and uh, even sector name let us remove this sector name and uh, this should be sectors sectors in the bracket with the Sarah yes as you see it's looking much better than the previous and I will bring it in the right you can select 
all those features in the creek or lighty creek just go to align then you can choose align center so that each item should be in the center this is better and uh, it is the best way of layouting your map or glorifying your map with all cosmetic element of a good map in the layout view upon completing this task the remaining task is to export it as pdf or as a picture so that you can use in the other project but this is the output to do so uh, you will need to go to file just scroll down to export and uh, in this window export map open you will go to current location or working space where the project have been saved you see that this is not a, a working space i will need to click on this icon home and now i'm directed to where my map saved let me uh, keep calling it with the Sarah admin map but i will change the type uh, from this as pdf then click ok save i'm done by saving this project as a pdf and uh, i will need to go back to file and export map already uh, we are in uh, our working space you see that we just admin map as pdf has been generated and uh, i will save it again as not pdf but as jpeg or png those are the format of picture you can choose one and then click on save then it's done it's better to go to start and uh, you can click on um, uh, maybe on pc but in this this yeah no in this tutorial administrative map you see that pdf document has been generated and uh, even picture has been generated so you can see how it look like in pdf right you click open with yeah, let me open with this this is how it is looking like it is a better map and uh, you can go back to um, folder and then open the picture and you see that this is how the picture it looks like you can use the picture in the project and you can even use the pdf like to print it uh, yeah for further project so let me go back to to our map and uh, even if you are uh, modifying this map you can add everything you want like your name maybe date that this project has been produced and even you can add your name coordinate system that you are working in so you can add many component add many elements if you want so it depends on you and if here you can add even picture like when you go in insert you can even browse or insert picture thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you find important and helpful to you please subscribe like and share See you guys in the next video. Shh.